Think you know what every animal does? Think you have their number? Well, think again. The world of the animal kingdom is just as complex as our own. Each animal is an individual and many defy stereotypes to do things you may never expect. These are 20 animals who did things and surprised everyone. Number 20. Otter Jump We'll begin with something that's quite simple but still shows off how clever an animal can be when they're in a pinch. Otters are rather playful creatures and ones that people love to see at the zoo because they can wave back to people or play ball with them and more. But in the wild, they can actually have a mean streak and they can be put into scenarios that scare them to do things that you would not expect. In this case, over in Alaska, one otter was minding its own business when it realized that it was actually being chased by an orca. While orcas are another creature that people love to get close to, otters don't really feel the same way. Why? Well, that's because orcas will eat an otter and they're very happy to chase them around before catching them. While the otter was on the run for his life, a man from Coldwater, Alaska realized that something was happening and got the entire thing on camera. That's a good thing, given what's about to happen. And what happened, you ask? Well, at first, the otter came to the boat and circled it for a while to see if it could lose the orca, and when it didn't, it actually jumped into the boat. That's right, it leapt right onto the boat because it knew the orca would not be able to follow it. But that's not the end of the story. Not only did that man welcome the otter into the boat, he happily stayed still for a bit so that it could be safe. When the otter thought the orca was gone, it then jumped back into the water and then jumped back onto the boat because it realized the orca was still there, just waiting for it. According to the man, this took place multiple times until the otter stayed in the boat for quite some time because it didn't want to risk going back into the water. Eventually, it would leave the boat, but the otter was a passenger for a good amount of time. Why is this surprising? Well, the otter had to realize that the boat was a safe haven, and it jumping in and out of the boat would prove that it understood its situation quite well, and that this safe haven better than being eaten. I do sympathize with you, Mr. Otter. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Goats are chaos incarnate. There's a good reason they're often used symbolically throughout both Satan worship and various folklore and myth. But did you think that one could be so chaotic it would leap out of a truck that was delivering it from one farm to another? Well, one did, and this image captures that moment that a goat leapt free from his containment, but before he fell to the ground and scarpered into the woods to the left. Anyone who fights this hard for the freedom deserves it. That's what I say. As always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Scallop Propulsion When it comes to the creatures of the sea, there are various things that people take for granted, more often than you may realize. After all, we don't come into contact with sea creatures all too often, so it's easy to make an assumption about something like a scallop and not really have a reason to think otherwise. For example, most of you might think that scallops are actually inanimate creatures, based on the fact that they're in seashells like oysters and other similar creatures, but you would actually be wrong. In fact, not only can scallops move, they can move in a way that you likely never expected. You know those creatures called pistol shrimp that can shoot jets of water out of their claws, that can hit creatures with incredible force? Well, scallops can actually use that same technique for propulsion, and it is quite the trick. They do this by clapping their shells together quickly, moving a jet of water past their hinges which propels them forward. <laughs> Unlike other bivalves like mussels and clams, most scallops are actually free swimming. However, some do attach themselves to things or even bury themselves in the sand. Plus, because of the fact that they have over 100 eyes on their body, they can actually use those jets precisely to get them where they need to go. So right there is a couple of things that I'm pretty sure you didn't know about scallops. They can move pretty well, and they have eyes that are all over their body. And if you think about it, it does make sense that they're able to 
do such things because they're found all over the ocean. It'd be kind of dumb for them not to have a way to get around, you know? Number 18. Elephant Kick Being blunt here for a moment, elephants are creatures that you should never get close to unless you absolutely know what they're going to do. Never forget that even in their smallest of states, they can actually be thousands of pounds and have enough power to easily crush a person without a whole lot of effort. But that doesn't mean that they can't use that power and ability to send a message to someone who's not really taking the hint. In this case, one man at a zoo in Thailand was able to get really close to a young elephant. Now, that's adorable in its own right and shows how that zoo is able to handle things that they'll let such creatures run freely in the park. But the guy thought that it was a great idea to try and get a selfie with the elephant. I mean, gee, what could possibly go wrong? Well, as we would find out, the elephant would do what any person would do if they were forced into a photo opportunity that they didn't ask for. They would back out of it, and then, just for good measure, the elephant reached out and kicked the guy's butt. That's right, as you can see here, the elephant full-on extended his leg and then kicked the man right in the arse. Was that a convenient placement of a leg? Well, it's possible. But isn't it just a little funnier to picture the elephant just going and kicking the man's backside because he realized it was a good move to do? I certainly do think so. And it also shows that animals have a sense of humor and are willing to do things that you wouldn't expect in order to make a point or to show that they're not fans of selfies. Oh, and just for the record, I'm not a fan of selfies either, so don't even try it. Number 17. Dogs doing vandalism. Now, imagine this. You park your car on the street outside of your house for the night, like you've done a thousand times before. But when you wake up in the morning to go and get it for your daily drive, the thing's been trashed and the front bumper's been ripped off. Obviously, you're kind of furious right now, and you have every right to be. But your immediate thought says, ah, some dumb kids wrecked my car. But you also have an ace up your sleeve and have video cameras positioned to see if anything happens. You go and check it, and that's when you find out that it was a group of dogs that did this to your car. No, for real, it was dogs. Not only did it happen in Turkey, but there's one heck of a twist associated with it, because it wasn't only a few dogs that had gotten out of their cages, leashes or fences. This was a pack of wild dogs that came upon this car and basically said, yeah, let's wreck it. It's the darndest thing when you watch the footage, because it's not like they went straight for the car. Instead, they simply showed up, started sniffing around, and then as a combined force, they began to rip it apart. It was just one dog who ripped off the bumper, which just goes to show you how much bite force that a dog has when it feels like it needs to be ferocious. And to add to all of the madness, once they were done ripping it up, they actually tried to get into the car. Thankfully, they didn't do this to every car on that man's block, but given what we've just seen, is that really a far stretch to ponder about? The lesson here is, if you have a stray dog in your neighborhood, be sure they can't get to anything valuable. They may just make you regret it if you don't. Number 16. Dog Stays Dry Now, given that we've just shown you some very bad dogs, I thought it would be a nice change of pace to show you a rather clever one that figured out a way to stay out of the pool. As you can see in the clip, the dog lost its beloved tennis ball to the pool, and while it was fine with getting its feet wet, it clearly didn't want to get fully wet, which I can totally understand. But how was it going to get into the water to get the ball without getting wet? It's simple, it used the nearby mini pool to float the tennis ball, and then simply shifted its weight so that it could get the thing back to dry land. Sometimes it is the simplest thing that have the biggest results. The reason that this is a surprising thing is that it's a high level of thinking that the dog had to undertake. First, it had to realize that it could use the mini pool to its advantage and that it would float with him inside of it. And then the dog had to spin the thing around enough at the end to get back to solid ground. Dogs have always impressed humans with their intelligence and this is no different. I mean, seriously, this was some high level brain power from this pooch. It's just sad that not all dogs are this smart 
Because could you imagine if they were able to do more with such critical thinking skills? Number 15. Egg Eating Snake Now let's shift to something more, well, terrifying. Yes, I'm talking about snakes. Snakes are easily one of the coolest species on the planet, given all that they do, depending on the one that you're talking about. They have the ability to track things through their heat signature or scent, and they can swallow people whole. And we have evidence to prove it. They can be on dry land or in water without issues at times, and yes, they are venomous. But in regards to the African egg-eating snake, it has a much different trick that can ensure that it always gets a meal. As the name would suggest, it is a master of swallowing eggs, and there are certain snake species that can eat entire eggs whole. The twist is that this snake will swallow the egg and then get it to the lower part of its body so that it can then crack the egg with the rest of its body and spit the eggshell out. I have no idea how the snake is able to evolve enough in order to do that, but it is one heck of a trick. All the reward of the meal without having to worry about digesting the food. Number 14. Monkey Wants to Ride You know the phrase, monkey see, monkey do? Well, clearly this monkey saw some people doing some bike riding and wanted to mimic the action. I'm not really joking. Here, a monkey stole a child's bike all while being chased by a dog, and then the monkey was able to get enough space to jump onto the bike and ride it around. And not only was it able to ride it around, it rode that bike as though it had been riding bikes all of its life. It may have been a while since you've ridden a bike, but it does take a decent amount of coordination and balance to get one to do what you want it to do. And this monkey is doing just that. And it should not be too much of a surprise, given all of the things that monkeys can do in trees and with vines and such, but this is still a different thing entirely. My sympathies do go to the dog, though. The canine is trying to stop the monkey, and the monkey does not care one little bit. I mean, seriously, what does the monkey really have against the dog? Number 13. Crocs can jump. When it comes to crocodiles and alligators, there are certain techniques that you can do to stay out of their good graces. The first is just never letting them get near you. That's going to save you a whole lot of trouble. But if you are to get close enough to one, you want to stay out of their immediate striking range. Crocodiles especially are first strike predators, and they'll use that initial lunge to get out of the water, onto land, and grab their prey so that they can drag it below the water's surface. So, if you are above the croc, you should be fine, right? Well, no. As this shows, while crocs can go and lunge horizontally to great effect, they can apparently leap vertically so that they can reach food that's within their range. When you watch this croc do it, it's almost as though it's defying gravity. Not that I recommend testing it out with every croc that you see, mind you. They can be very temperamental creatures. And if they can do leaps like this, well, they can get to you when you least expect it. And remember, certain species of crocs and gators are man-eaters, so you can't say you haven't been warned. Number 12. Flipping Out Oh, look, we have another monkey story for you. This time around, we're going to show you the bonobo ape and the incredible agility that it has. As I've already proven, monkeys can do some incredible feats given their natural abilities, but I'm sure the people who filmed this at the zoo weren't exactly expecting this ape to go full-on acrobat for them. In this case, it's doing rolls at the drop of a hat just for fun, and then it finds a high place and does several backflips. Now sure, it doesn't always stick the landing, but that's not really the point here. The point is that you probably can't do a basic backflip if given the chance, and yet this ape is doing it with ease without a care in the world. Some of you might not be surprised at this, as apes can be some of the strongest and most athletic creatures around. But for those who aren't in the know, this just goes to prove how different that animal kind is from humankind. 
After all, I doubt that this ape had any training, and so it's going off of instinct and what it feels like it can do. And yeah, it turns out that it can actually do a lot. Is there any chance that we can do a monkey Olympics? Number 11. High Five They say that people don't own the cats, but instead the cats own them. After all, they're infamous for being absolute incredible jerks and psychos and never doing what their owners want. They do things simply because they want to. So the question is, what would it take for a cat to do a high five with someone? Well, apparently it's not all that much. As you can see in this clip, a guy's just riding his bike down a pathway when he sees a cat and that cat happens to notice the biker. And when they put up their hand for a high five, the cat happily gives one back. This just blew my mind. I mean, does this mean that we can train cats to be the master of high fives? Is this something that it can do that dogs can't or won't do without training? Could it shift the entire paradigm of pet dynamics? Uh, probably not, but it is still a cool thing to see. The irony is that for all we know, the cat was trained to do the high five and they may have done it several times before getting the perfect shot. Either way, it's still a very cool thing and I might just be trying this out with my cat. Number 10. New Passenger now, let me put something into perspective for you for a moment. You're going to a pit stop to fill up your car. You leave your car door open because you don't think anything's going to happen. Surely enough, nobody steals your ride and whatever's inside. But when you do look in your car, that's when you notice something that wasn't exactly there before. It's a koala. That's right, this happened in Australia where a man was trying to fill up his car and a koala was actually able to sneak into the back seat. Why would it do that? Well, the car had air conditioning. I mean, seriously, it was really hot and decided to go into the car because it could tell that it had AC. And because it was totally chill in that car, it didn't want to leave when the man noticed it in the back seat. It apparently took serious convincing to get that koala out of there. And honestly, on a hot day such as the ones that Australia can have, I don't really blame it for wanting to stay. Number 9. Chipmunk Cheeks Now there are certain things about animals that we notice but don't exactly think about until we seriously ask the questions about the thing. For example, why do chipmunks stuff their faces with nuts and seeds and such? The animal's cheek pouches serve as shopping bags and they deliver food to the underground pantry. Chipmunks, well, they don't hibernate. While they do spend much of the winter sleeping, they wake up every few weeks and they grab a meal from their food chamber and then go to the bathroom. That's why you'll see them with stuffed faces so many times. That's because they're using their mouths as a way to get a gallon's worth of seeds and nuts to snack on during the winter season. Early settlers would even try to find these storehouses in order to eat the nuts and seeds when their own food was scarce. How very human of them. Number 8. High Five Again now, the last High Five video I was honestly kind of thrilled to talk about because of the implications of it in a positive way, but with this High Five video, not so much. In fact, I'm honestly kind of upset about having to talk about this one, because this video showcases a jumping spider doing a High Five to a person. Yeah, it is surprising, but that's not why I'm upset. The reason I'm upset is that the person doing the High Five is the spider's trainer. That's right, this lady thought that it was a great idea to train a spider to do something like this, and that is horrifying in so many ways. This is how an apocalypse can happen, you know? Spiders don't really need to learn new tricks, and we should just move on. Number 7. Cats Can Sing After the last entry, we definitely need something to cleanse the old palate. And what better way to do that than with a cat singing Old MacDonald? Now, no, I'm not pulling your leg here, but I'm also holding out on a few details. You see, this lady apparently had trained her cat to help her sing Old MacDonald, and then meowing at certain places during the song. And on his farm he had a cat. E -I -E -I -O. As you'll see in here, the cat is able to meow on cue, even doing a double meow on the appropriate places in order to help and nail the effect. The only thing wrong with this video is that the cat is clearly tired and yet it's being forced to do the song anyway. I mean, come on, lady. 
Let that cat sleep. YouTube will wait for a rested singer, you know. Number 6. Frozen Fish Here's another question that I'm sure you have occasionally thought of, depending on the situation that you were in. What happens to creatures if they get caught in a frozen lake bed and then freeze over? Now I know of tales of animals dying by freezing, they're just like humans in that regard, but is there a way to overcome that if you're a certain species of fish or frog? The answer would be yes. There are fish known as the Crucian carp that can be frozen within a body of water, just like a lake or a river, and then survive in that frozen state for months until the water thaws out. Then, when its body dethaws, it goes on its way without any kind of issue. Wood frogs can also do that, which is pretty impressive, that it can happen across multiple species. It just goes to show that animal bodies can evolve to handle all sorts of situations. Number 5. Walrus Workout Now you've heard of the polar bear plunge, right? And being agile as a cat. But are you ready to take on the ultimate challenge of the walrus workout? Well first, you need to get a walrus. Just like this trainer, who has such a rapport with their walrus that it mimics the workouts that they do right in front of them. From doing stretches to doing push-ups, sit-ups, leg curls, and more, this walrus not only does it all, but does it with impressive form. But why does a walrus need to do that? Well, I don't really know. But it can do it, and that means it's more susceptible to doing workouts than many of you watching from home. How's that for a New Year's resolution? That's what I thought. Number 4. It Ain't Lion Now, I've shown you some dangerous animals on this list, but none of them can compare to a lion in various respects. And if you don't believe me, well, just ask the people in this car. The car in question was in a safari when a lion suddenly came up to it. At first, the lion just looked curious, and I can understand why. But then, it decided that it didn't like the car at all, so it thought it would take a bite out of it. Now, for the record, a lion's bite strength is much higher than a dog's, so it could have just caused some massive damage if it wanted to. Thankfully, the car was able to get away, but unfortunately, the lion then chased after it. Number 3. Dolphin Plea If I'm talking intelligence within animals, dolphins are easily one of the most intelligent creatures of the lot. They can communicate with people and animals quite easily, they can do incredible tricks and be trained to do more, and they can tell when someone is in danger and assist them, including saving them from sharks. But in this case, the dolphin I'm focusing on was in danger via some hooks that had gotten stuck in its body, and it recognized that it needed help and was not afraid to ask for it. So who did the dolphin ask for help from? Well, a nearby diver. It knew the human would assist it, and surely enough they did. That's an incredibly deductive mind for it to analyze the problem and then seek out a solution with the one species that it knew could help. Like I said, very smart creatures. Number 2. Hide and Seek This next video is one that I need to show just because of how adorable that it is. Here we have a mother duck and her ducklings out on the water. The mother decides to see how well that her children pay attention by playing a little game of hide-and-seek with them. She drops into the water and appears elsewhere in the location. Then her ducklings see her and rush to her side once again. She does this over and over again, and she's not afraid to go in different directions to throw them off. But every time, they're able to come back to her, and it's a truly adorable sight. Number 1. The cat is thirsty. So, how clever are cats? Well, they're clever enough to do things that you wouldn't expect, like getting water out of a dispenser. And no, I'm not talking about something like a sink. I'm talking about an actual water dispenser that you can find in a home or in certain other places. This cat apparently was able to learn how to use it well enough so that it could actually drink from it. It's both hilarious and it's terrifying. Because that means that, in theory, we'll never be thirsty again because it can get its own drinks instead of having to wait for its owner. Like I said, the cat owns you, and it's not the other way around. Well, that's all from the realm of animals who are much more than meets the eye. 
and can surprise you when they're put in the right circumstances. Were you amazed by these animals and the cool things that they did? And which of them surprised you the most when they did these actions? Perhaps you know of another animal that did something that could have gotten them onto this list. You should be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.